Namaste, beautiful beings, and welcome to Soul Space Mondays. I hope you had a fabulous Passover weekend. Happy Easter, happy Passover, and happy beautiful spring full pink moon. We have a wonderful opportunity right now to shift into a brand new zodiac year. So happy zodiac new year to you too. And in the spirit of this, we're just going to kind of take a minute, tuck inside, see what where you might need a little bit of house cleaning and also to ask for beautiful blessings for the next year ahead. Okay, so join me please and bring your hands together. When you're ready, just start giving them a good rub and ever so softly close your eyes. And then just take your first couple minutes to breathe in, breathe out, drop into this moment. See if you can turn your inner gaze down to the center of your palms. And as you're rubbing your hands together, know that you are firing up your entire energetic grid. You are turning on your big, beautiful, bold, magnificent, perfect, miraculous, gorgeous light. <sighs> and so just breathe into that. Go ahead and rub all those little points in your palm. Get between the fingertips. Make sure you get the heels of your hands. And always try to honor what your light body needs in this moment. Your hands will communicate that to you. There's some days when they want more friction, more pressure. And there's some days when they just want a very gentle, soft, sweet touch. Some days your breath wants to come in shallow and easy. And some days your breath wants to come in fast and hard. So again, just use these two simultaneous activities to start tuning, I should say tuning into your body. Turning, turning and tuning came out as one word there. So tuning, tuning. <laughs> Go ahead and just tune into your beautifulness. And as you sink into a posture for meditation, you might want to just rock back and forth on your hip bones, making sure that your legs are nice and relaxed and that you've got a good posture for meditation i never believe in one perfect posture for meditation you can meditate standing up sitting down laying down even leaning on a wall all it takes is just being present with you so honor the body see what it needs in this moment sometimes you might need your feet touching the ground sometimes you might need them tucked up underneath you Sometimes you might want your hands on your heart. Sometimes you want to bow your head down a little bit deeper. Go ahead and stretch your neck and your shoulders. Make sure everything feels nice and loose. And then with another gentle breath, let's bring our hands pressed together right into the center of the heart. And as you tuck into the heart, really take a moment here and press your thumbs into your heart chakra as if you are opening the heart. And use your breath to push against your thumbs, really create a little bit of pressure. And then see if you can concentrate all of your beingness right into the center of your chest. Begin to envision a green flower of light unfolding right behind your palms. And as your heart chakra, the Anahata chakra, begins to unfold, give it permission to really self-express. There's no right, there's no wrong. Everything that happens in this meditation is perfection. So never force anything to happen. Don't make it happen. Don't use your mind to bully your energy. We don't do that. It doesn't work anyway. So what we do instead is we turn our mindfulness and our presence and our awareness to something with a gentle, loving expectation. So turn your inner vision, your inner thoughts, your inner feelings to that heart chakra center and use your imagination and begin to picture the unfolding as if you're watching a movie while it happens. Whenever we pay attention to a different part of our body, 
naturally the light of healing flows there. The light of spirit energizes those places. Your attention is like a flashlight that directs the light of your spirit to go into some particular part of you. And that's the magic of your beautiful inner vision. So as you turn your vision to the heart, the heart cannot help but open. And so observe that taking place. And then you can consciously choose to take a deeper breath, to nourish the heart even more. You can choose to relax the muscles around your lungs. You can choose to lock into the heart and to lift your hands up just a half an inch, pulling your heart chakra upwards to the light above you. And this will create a whole different kind of an alignment. You'll feel a gentle stretch from the heart down through the stem of light that runs through your solar plexus, your sacral and your root, getting longer and longer and longer. And then from the root, you might begin to picture beautiful roots of light, just like the trees and the flowers of the world have going down deep into the earth, softly grounding you into this moment, into this beautiful day. And then as you pull your heart up to the light, you might naturally feel yourself leaning back just a little bit, rest into your tailbone, pull your shoulders down and back squeezing the back of your heart chakra right between your shoulder blades just a little bit and as you squeeze the back of the heart chakra let the front of your heart breathe a little bit bigger let it open wider begin to feel the light flowing from your heart in all directions but now that you are grounded in the earth, you are going to pull energy up from the earth grids beneath you. Just like the trees receive nourishment from the earth, so do you. So allow all the light and blessings, all the life force chi that comes from our earthly planes to rise up through your roots and to energize all of your spaces. Begin to feel the light, the color, the nourishment coming up through your feet through your legs and your knees. Let it flow through your thighs, your hips, your pelvic area. Let it soak into the base of your chakra system. And then begin to feel all that wonderful chi rising up through your central core, through the seat of your soul in the hara all the way up through your solar plexus in your abdomen. Take a breath into the solar plexus, really release especially the front of your solar plexus. <clears throat> and then as the energy comes through the solar plexus, you'll feel it outpouring through the heart like a fountain of energy. And again, just picture that beautiful green Anahata Chakra, 24 petals of light, expanding wide, stretching out, pulling in the center, all that life force energy coming into you from beneath. And then taking a few more deep breaths, really choose, consciously choose to drop your guards to relax your egoic shields, to surrender your fears in this moment, knowing that you are infinitely secure, knowing that you are in perfection, feeling so perfectly centered in yourself. Let your heart unfold, let your emotions flow. And then when you are ready, my friends, you can relax your hands down into your lap. And then just continue to feel the heart filling and overflowing with beautiful, sacred, loving chi. And with every breath you take, continue to expand the space that you hold 
for that life force energy. Begin to see in the center of the heart a beautiful golden sphere of light. It might be small at first, but allow it to grow. Allow it to become a huge container inside of your heart space that holds all the sacredness of you. And begin to picture yourself in a beautiful golden field of light in a golden body dressed in golden garments sitting in the very center of that golden sphere floating on that ocean of chi that is constantly flowing from underneath you like a pearl in an oyster feel this golden pearl all around you and then begin to feel that light from your heart, the love and the chi rising up around your golden sphere, entering the channel of your chakras above you. And begin to feel the light flowing all the way up through your throat chakra. And ever so softly, you might need to clear your throat. You might need to stretch just a little bit your neck and your shoulders. You might need to swallow whatever feels right just go ahead and do that just relax the throat it also helps if you ask me to drop your chin down just a little bit and to tuck it in towards your spine that's going to elongate the back of the neck and even across the shoulders you'll feel a nice easy stretch and then let it pull all the way up to the back of the skull where it meets the spine which is the back of the third eye and just feel that beautiful opening stretch from the back of the third eye the throat and even from the heart and at first you're going to feel like you're creating the stretch but then i want you to just melt into it a little bit more soften the front of your third eye and let it drop down towards the heart Allow the front of your throat chakra to be compressed ever so gently. There you go. Good. And there'll be a nice little feeling of surrender and release as you just let your head fall instead of trying to push it forward. And as your jaw folds inwards, it will also tend to pull upwards. And there's such a good feeling there. When you feel that, there's a lock in your chakra systems and it just allows all that love that's flowing inside of you to gather in full momentum at the base of the third eye and when we release it in just a second it's going to push up through the third eye and then through the crown but let's hold off on that for just a second i really want you to feel this moment where you have another choice to make will you allow your faith to become stronger than your fears Will you allow yourself to feel the courage within your beingness? You don't have to wait till your fears disappear. Your faith in you, your belief in you can grow stronger and stronger with every single breath. And so when the courage builds, it will become nice and strong. It turns into strength and presence. And that will effortlessly push your chin upwards, lifting your head with great confidence and strength, beautiful faith and courage. And then as you do so, that will then flow up through your third eye. And so again, you're still drawing from the earth. It's still coming up through all of your chakra channels. All that beautiful chi is collecting in the heart, pooling around your higher self, sitting in that golden sphere. It's flowing up through the voice, through the space of expression, through that place of true self-empowerment. And now it is coming up through the mind, nourishing your thoughts, your beliefs, your patterns through your consciousness and through your sensory field, through all of your intuitive lines of communication. 
And as it flows into your third eye chakra, this is really a place where we communicate with the whole of reality. We are constantly picking up everything, processing it, translating it into useful information. And so allow the grids of connection to just be cleansed and nourished. Allow your empathy to be reset. Allow your cognizance to refresh. Now let's take a big, beautiful breath into the center of the mind and then send that breath up through the top of your head. Release it all the way up through the crown chakra that sits like a flower with almost a thousand petals. Let it sit on your crown and open its beautiful arms, relaxing into the field of light that is shining in from above you. And just like opening the windows of your home and letting in all the sunlight, let the crown unfold, let it open to the light above you. You will see as you look up from the crown chakra, a magnificent sphere of light hovering over top of you. A beautiful white opalescent ball of light, color, shapes, and sounds. This is your soul star, the gateway to your own divine connection. It is the chakra that seals the top of your aura and holds you safe and sound here in this human body. And so as you perceive that beautiful, glorious light above you, just touch it with your love. Infuse it with your hope. And as you do, watch as it opens. Feel it unfolding. Imagine the gateway clearing and this fear, the aura around you, is now opening itself from solid circle into a beautiful shaft of light, into a tube of energy all around you. Feel the soul star expanding itself, still creating beautiful, loving safety, protection, and peace, but opening the field of your personal space into the connection with your divine. And above you, you'll begin to feel that shaft of light becoming so bright, so beautiful, that a light from source is coming down through this field. And it is not only shining inside of your sphere, it's surrounding every part of you. And as you open to your absolute higher connections, just take a moment, begin to feel waves and waves of color and light, beautiful peace, love, hope, joy, happiness and grace. Feel a waterfall of healing in all the colors of the seven rays coming into your body. Begin to feel the flames of perfection washing through you. And then very gently just feel yourself breathing. Just breathe. And as this river of divine love and light and wisdom is flowing into your human space, picture once again that golden sphere inside of your heart and the golden you, the perfect, beautiful God goddess of this universe right here in the heart. And allow that higher self of you to become larger and fully present. Allow the gold in you to overlap with the entire human body. Let every cell match. Let every chakra connect. And begin to feel the golden infusion of light inside of your root and your sacral and your solar plexus chakras. Feel the golden heart locking into your green heart. Take a beautiful deep breath. Feel the golden throat, the golden third eye, 
the golden crown, each one connecting to your rainbow chakra points. And as your seven higher self chakras merge with your seven human chakras, allow every single part of you to become the fully integrated higher self of your being. And there's no need to rush this, my friends. Just continue to breathe and to feel the alignment taking place. You'll notice that there's no reason to be worthy or unworthy. There's no need to be conditional or unconditional. For this is perfection. It is always perfection. You have always been in perfection. Every moment of your life can be integrated into this exact moment. Even the parts of your past that you don't necessarily hold dear in your human mind and your human heart. Even those sparks of you are welcome to come back into this golden moment. To come home to the light of your being, to pass through the white light that is surrounding you to purify and to cleanse. And again, like I said, to come home. If there are any grudges that you are holding from this past day, this past week, this past year, this past lifetime, anything known or unknown that prevents you from truly just shining your brightest light, living your best you, opening your greatest heart, and having the best experience ever, just welcome that of your own free will. Let that spark that was left behind to come back home to a space of unconditional love, absolute acceptance, divine forgiveness, reintegration. From perfection comes perfection. And so my friends, just take a few more big loving breaths. Feel the river of light coming down from around you. And now as you turn your attention to the higher realms of guides and guardians, let us welcome all of the masters and teachers, all of your friends in spirit, all of your ancestors and loved ones, and the angels and the archangels from the highest kingdoms of light, the elementals, the celestials, all the great beings who are here to love and guide and support you on your path. All those who are here to witness the unfolding of your greatness. Let us welcome them to come forward through this pure crystalline light and to step inside of your field and to connect with you. and receiving their beautiful love, their gifts, their wisdom, their friendship unconditionally. Just take a few moments and feel the presence of so many beautiful beings surrounding you right now. And beyond all of these great beings, there is a universe that loves you. And as you begin to feel yourself truly at home in this family of love, in this universe of kindness and generosity, and in the heart of the source of all that is life and creation, know that this is really where you belong. This is where you exist, where you create, where you bless and are blessed. Know that here you are beloved. Here you are in absolute beautiful perfection. And here you remain as always and forever. And so again, if there's any single point in your beingness where there is resistance, control, effort, 
Just breathe. Let the light come into you. Let the stillness come to you. Let the healing come through you. Allow the infinite miraculous spirit to flow as a gift to your heart, to your mind, to your body, without any kind of conditions. Just allow it to flow into you. Let it flow through you as you. Let it flow through the world that is your world. Begin to perceive every life experience as an open channel for experiencing and receiving divine blessings, divine grace, higher truth, miraculousness, faith, love, hope, courage, all the goodness that there is in this world, all the abundance. Let all the blessings flow amplified around you and through you. And simultaneously let it all flow through you to the world. Open your channel and invite the highest resources to enter this world through the gateway of you. Be both the giver and the receiver simultaneously. And without any kind of pressure, without any fear, without any insecurity, just breathe and be. Be in this moment of perfection. Feel the love, feel the clarity, feel the freedom. Feel whatever feels right to you in this moment. You are sacred space. You are holy ground. You are a beautiful child of this universe. And you are held. You are loved. You are cherished. You are important. You matter to the whole world. You are blessed. You are safe. You are beautiful. You are wise and you are pure. You are living joy. You are living love. You are living miraculousness. You are living divinity. You are living goodness. You are living truth. And so my friends, let's simplify all of this and just breathe the love. Breathe the love into every part of life. Nourish it, energize it, bless it, and hold it in your heart. Expect it to be kind. Expect life to be generous. Expect life to be a healing experience. Expect life to be good to you. 
Expect it to be full and overflowing with so much joy and so many blessings. Expect life to have all of your needs met and more. Expect life to be perfection, divine perfection. Continue to release any resistances. Continue to welcome even more light. Continue to bow humbly to the grace and blessings that are being bestowed. Continue to open your channel. Continue to practice living generously to yourself and to others. Continue building your strength, your faith. Continue practicing your unconditionality. Continue restoring your perfection and transmuting all lower vibrations into the highest, most beautiful possibilities. And continue to give yourself the gift of divine assistance and guidance. My beautiful friends, I wish you this and so much more in this beautiful season. I offer you all of my love, all of my dreams and hopes for perfection in you and in this world. I offer you all the light of spirit, all the healing of the rays. And I offer you my beautiful love. And now as we bring our hands together, let us remember the spark that we all share is one love, one light, one spirit, one source, one humanity. And from my heart to each and every one of you, perfectly, I bow. Namaste, my beautiful friends. Namaste. Thank you for being you. When you're ready, you can relax your beautiful body, shake it out, start to... <coughs> Sorry about that noise. So take a big deep breath and ever so gently return from my heart to yours. Again, namaste.